Welcome back, awesome Ash Toy fans and subscribers. I've got another one of these egg toy sort of animal things. This one does unfold and open out, I believe. That means a much assembly. Um, I was after the armadillo, but I didn't get it. And these are like a random one, but this one looks pretty cool too. Um, so I am going to open this up, turn the camera around, and we can take a look together and see what it is like. Hopefully it will work as a mount for a, for a 180 scale action figure. Let's take a look. Okay, here it is, unraveled, unfolded, and I will be honest, I am a little bit disappointed. I, If I had the armadillo, I would have been really happy, because the armadillo I saw unfolded at the actual place where I got this from, and it looked fantastic. Uh, whereas this guy just looks a bit near. I mean, if I get added some paint to him, he would look pretty cool. Um... Can I use them as a mount for 118? Yeah, sort of not easily, I guess. Um, but let's take a closer look. So he's, he's a little bit cute looking. So he's got these sort of eyes at the front. He's got his armoured protected shell. There are some details under, underneath we can see here. There is uh, some details there. But it's just too simple for me. It just needed to come out bigger. And to fold up is literally a case of putting the back legs in like this. And then the next set of legs in here. And then these ones will go in. And then he'll just sort of crunch his head up. And he folds into a little ball like this. Which is pretty cool. But it's not the armadillo. The armadillo, because it unfolds further, is bigger. And will make quite a nice mount for a 118 scale fantasy or post-popolyptic sci-fi opera sort of a character i will show the armadillo i've got a picture and instructions i i just realized i uh, crumpled them up you just uncrumple it you can see it's not a color picture though. it's just a black and white one with the instructions but it is what it looks like so the armadillo actually looks like this here which looks pretty damn cool bear in mind that would probably be about this long in comparison because it would fold out further it looked pretty good as a mount for 118. Maybe I will see if I can find one on Taobao as opposed to a physical shop. So I'd have to keep wasting money trying to get all these ones to come out of the machine. So to get an idea of size, this guy's too cute looking. With your 118 scale uh, figures is my Joy Toy Maintenance guy. Height wise is pretty good. And width-wise is good, but it's not that long. It's a big insect either way. I mean, you could have some standing on it, I guess, or an action pose, but sitting on that would be quite tough because he actually is quite wide. I'm not sure he could actually do it. Not quite. That's why when the armadillo put a fantasy warrior on the armadillo, there we go, just about. Legs akimbo, he can sort of uh, fit on. Yeah, disappointing, I have to say. So you can see there's articulation in the uh, legs at the elbow and the hip. Also the little parts by the mouth. Same the hip and the elbow on the other two legs. And then the waist and the head for folding in and out. But I just wanted the armadillo. This guy's like, yeah, it's all right. But I'm not overly happy with that. Still, it's another animal for my collection. It needs more features on that face. Okay, more reviews coming soon, so please subscribe, click on the notification icon, that little bell, and stay up to date with the latest videos that are coming out on my channel. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.